You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, new Oxidol is white. And it washes clothes whiter than ever before. The cleanest wash you can get from any soap in the world. Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Now, Oxidol washes clothes whiter than ever before. Gives you the whitest wash in Oxidol history. Because today, there's a new white Oxidol, the whiter, whiter soap, for a whiter, whiter wash. You'll want to try it. Notice how white this new Oxidol is as you open the package. But more important, see how white it gets your wash. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Right. New Oxidol white. The whitest Oxidol wash ever. The cleanest wash it's possible to get from any soap in the world. New white Oxidol washes every towel and sheet you own, a new snowy white, a dazzling whiter white. No matter where you hang your clothes to dry, even in a dark basement, you'll still get the whitest Oxidol wash you ever had. And that whiteness will be there week after week for the life of your clothes, just as long as you use new white Oxidol. And all those washable colors are a joy to behold, too, because new white Oxidol is truly safe. Everything from your little girl's school dresses to your nice flowered tablecloths comes out looking fresh and sparkling bright. Your dealer has new white Oxidol now, so get some. And next wash day, be right. Get clothes white with the greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. New white Oxidol, the whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. And now for Ma Perkins. Well, when midnight rolls around, usually Rushville Center is pretty well tucked in for the night. Tonight, though, well, here it is, 1.30, a little after, in fact, and a number of folks are up and around the town. Down at the town hall, for instance, we find Constable Jim Tookie still on duty. At least he's still sitting behind his desk. And across from him sits none other than our old friend Shuffle. Listen. Yep, 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 Jim, all says for you not to worry. Go on home, get some sleep. He says, first thing in the morning, Joe will be down to see you and get this whole thing straightened around to everybody's satisfaction. But he ain't come home yet, Shuffle. Joe, I mean. No, not yet. He'll be there, though. Doggone, that's the worst of it, Shuffle. Why the dickens did he have to go running off? Well, now, look, Jim, don't expect me to go telling you what was in Joe's mind. But hitting the man so hard that he falls over backwards into a glass showcase and gets all cut up by the glass, why, Pete Skillet might have killed himself. Well, he didn't kill himself. You said yourself, said Doc Stevens, said that Peter will be as good as new when them stitches heal up. Why, Joe could be tried for assault and battery. Yeah. Then Nick Christopopoulos over at the restaurant, he's got a case, too. Joe being responsible for the breaking of his glass showcase, Nick says it's worth 70 bucks. Oh, tarnation. If anyone that ought to be put on trial is Pete Skillet and the whole doggone town of Rushville Center. Now, don't go getting fancy, Shuffle. I ain't getting fancy. Too many wiseacres and busybodies around. What business was it of Pete Skillet's if Joe went out to supper the other night with this Ann Morrison? Well... Supposing the battery did go dead on Joe's car that he borrowed from Faye for the night, and the state police did come along and have to get him started, and then they brought him back to town. Who asked Mr. Skillet to broadcast it the length and breadth of Brown County? Well, I ain't saying you're wrong, but I sure wish Joe had stuck around and not go running off. Well, he'll be here come more. You got Ma's word on that. You don't need no better guarantee. How'd she take it, Shuffle, when you told her? Oh, took it in typical Ma Perkins fashion. She sure likes the boy, don't she? Sure? Yeah. Ma likes people. Well, I think I'll take me home now and finish up the sleep that you interrupted a few hours back, Mr. Constable. Coming, Jim? Yeah, I might as well. You ain't uh, just whistling in the dark, are you, Shuffle? About what, Jim? What about Joe coming back home, being here in the morning? You know this is a funny town. Take things real serious, Shuffle. Yep, yep, yep. Eye for eye and a tooth for a tooth. I like Joe fine, but I got a job to do. Uh, don't worry, Constable Jim Tookie. He'll be here. Ma Perkins said so. She knows people. Joe'll be here in the morning. Rushville Center will have its pound of flesh.
Now it's a little more than an hour later. And over at Ma's, after Shuffle left her around midnight, Ma went upstairs to her room. She's not asleep, though. Dressed in her bathrobe, she's sitting in her rocking chair at the window overlooking the street. And as the old alarm clock on the dresser ticks away the minutes, she waits. Waits for Joseph to come home. And waiting... She thinks back over the two and a half years since the very earnest young man first came into her life. Land. Land, it's been nothing but trouble and heartache for the boy. The first time I seen him, it was out at that prayer meeting they was having at Pleasant Haven. Folks had told me. They said Joseph, Dr. Joseph, they called him then. He looks just like your own son Johnny did before he was killed in the war. The night Shuffle and me went there, Shuffle whispered, Sweet Jerusalem, Ma. Do my eyes deceive me? Or is that your own Johnny standing there? Tarnation, Ma, they was right. He does look like Johnny, don't he? That was the beginning. It was like the grave had given Johnny back to me. Or more like Johnny had never gone away. It pleased Joseph that folks said he he looked like our Johnny. The corporal did look like me, didn't he, Ma? The corporal? Oh, my boy John. Yes. Yes, he... Yes, Joseph. You know, Ma... Sometimes I feel almost like... like I am, John. We feel the same way, Joseph. Do you? Yes. All of us. Fair and all. That's good, Ma. That's swell. Nobody's ever said anything finer to me. I haven't got any real name. No mother or father record... It's good you feeling like that. You've been wonderful to me, wonderful as any mother. I want to be like John. More than that, I, I want to be John. All that he was, Ma, to you. And, Land, he tried. He was so proud. He was part of a the family. There were people people who loved him, and he loved them. But that look would come back every now and then, that look that said, I'm nobody. I've got no real home, no father, no mother, like he said, of record. Land of Goshen, he wanted someone to be his, all his, a home, children. He tried with his wife's star, but she passed away, poor child. The night that you passed, Joseph, saying to me, It's the first day of spring. I suppose back in the hills on the southern side, there, there might even be some green shoots.